If you're a Switch fan, you're probably excited about the idea of a Nintendo Switch Pro that lets you play your favorite games in higher resolutions at more stable frame rates. The bad news is that the Switch Pro has not been confirmed or announced by Nintendo just yet. That's funny, buddy. Real funny. So strap in, buckle up, and let's jump into what we know about the Nintendo Switch Pro. If you've heard anything about the Switch Pro, you've probably heard about how it will tackle 4K gaming. Uh oh. This idea is fundamentally misleading. The Nintendo Switch, in terms of computing power, is in between the Xbox 360 and the Xbox One, but make no mistake, the Switch is sincerely less powerful than even a launch Xbox One. Even if a Switch Pro could match the power of a PS4, which itself would be a huge technical feat, it's gonna be a long trip. Yes. The PS4 is far from being able to run games in 4K. The much more expensive, much larger, and not at all portable next-gen consoles from Sony and Microsoft cannot themselves run all games at native 4K, often being forced to use upscaling or dynamic resolutions to get near that resolution. All of this together means that another Switch as we know it can never run a video game anywhere close to in 4K by itself. But the 4K Switch dream does not live on for a few reasons. NVIDIA's technology powers the graphics in the Switch, and NVIDIA has pioneered DLSS, an upscaling tech that can enable games at higher resolutions and frame rates at the same, or very similar, visual quality. If a technology like this was integrated into a new Switch, games could be rendered at lower resolutions and then be upscaled to higher ones. On top of this, much like external GPU enclosures for laptops, if a Switch Pro came with a souped-up dock with more available power to tap into, 4K gaming on a Switch could easily become a reality. Unfortunately, though, another Switch with a similar form factor and price range just cannot run games in 4K on its own. And even with either of these innovations, 4K gaming on Switch would, naturally, have to be done docked and still won't compare to the fidelity on display in PS5, Series X, and PC games. Not that the Switch Pro has to do any of this, but it is to say that no gamer should expect it to, either. As far as 4K Switch gaming goes, there is a third option when it comes to running games too much for the Switch alone to handle, streaming. Recently, both Hitman 3 and Control came to Nintendo Switch, but they weren't ported to the console. They're accessible on Switch via cloud streaming enabling gamers on the go to play games historically reserved for home console or PC. While just two games, they do work on Switch. The promises of game streaming are often hard to believe. He's lying, I swear to God. We all remember the fabled promise of Google Stadia, 4K game streaming at the click of a button. 4K, 60 FPS. OLED screens have been the talk of the screen town for a long time now. The technology has been around for quite a while, but it hasn't been affordable. Most traditional displays are some variation of LCD, but OLED screens are a very different technology capable of much better contrast far deeper blacks, and much more lifelike, natural images. As a result of its quality, the price has been high historically, though products with these kinds of screens are usually well received, like the Vita, even if the resolution is fairly low. The Switch Pro is rumored to come packed with a 7-inch 720p OLED screen, which even at the same resolution as the original Switch would bring a massive increase to image quality over the Switch's LCD screen. An OLED screen today makes sense for Nintendo because they can invest in the much cheaper rigid OLED tech as opposed to the flexible OLED tech found in high-end smartphones. Plus, an increase to resolution on the Switch's screen itself wouldn't make sense. Many games already run below 720p on Switch, and with a screen size of the Switches, the pixel density beyond that of 720p comes with severely diminishing returns as well as requires exponentially more powerful hardware to drive. The idea the idea of 4K Switch gaming can't make sense on the Switch's tiny screen, so the benefits of the power of the Switch Pro would be largely focused on docked play, while offering mobile gamers a much better screen to stare at. 
with the release of new GPUs from AMD and NVIDIA, as well as consoles from Sony and Microsoft, it's important to keep Nintendo hardware in perspective. It won't be as powerful, but that's how Nintendo has always worked, and it's nothing to get concerned or upset about.